Quite a few of us are using gas struts on our doors these days and uh, I've just recently installed a few myself. So I've learned a few things from doing that and just thought I'd make a short video uh, to share what I've learned. The gas struts come in different sizes and different stroke lengths. They also come in different diameters um, depending on how much force you need and uh, how much weight it has to support. They're also available in steel and aluminium. I've gone with steel for the meantime. There is definitely a weight penalty there and uh, not insignificant and I may consider uh, going to aluminium at a future date. Now I don't have the rear cargo doors fitted because I'm part way through covering the aircraft but you'll, you'll still get the general idea. Um, the gas struts, if, if the rear cargo door was in the open position, they could be mounted that way or they can also be mounted this way. The issue with that obviously being that the gas strut itself blocks uh, part of the entry through the door. On the rear cargo door, I actually did mount them that way because it's largely out of the way when the door's open and, and that's just to hold the door uh, in an open position. It also cushions it when it opens. Uh, I'd have to say that the, uh, the gas strut on the rear cargo door is probably largely unnecessary. So let's take a closer look at the gas strut itself. There are a couple of critical measurements. In the first one, this is the hinge line running along the top of the door here. And the first measurement is from the hinge line out to the, the top pivot point on that gas strut. Now, if you can imagine that as the door closes, that's going to pivot down to a point on the inside of the frame down here. And this point here is where the gas strut will lie when it's in the closed position. Now I have mounted this, uh, this gas strut inverted, which is the recommended way. But if it were up the other way, you can imagine that when this is in the closed position, it's going to be the length of the barrel there, plus the length of this small end piece to about there. That's, that's the minimum um, length of the gas strut in the closed position. And it's that measurement that causes uh, the main issue. There are two opposing uh, issues here. The first one is that you want this point to be as far from the hinge line as possible to support as much weight on the door. And the further from the hinge line, uh, the less force you need out of the gas strut and therefore the smaller the gas strut you can have. However, the issue with going uh, too far away from the hinge line is the stroke volume required out of the gas strut itself because the longer this distance here is, the bigger the, uh, the longer the gas strut you need um, to actually provide sufficient stroke. So another thing to bear in mind is that the closer this point is to the hinge line, the more force or the stronger the gas strut you need to hold the door open. It, if you halve the distance in there, you're going to need to double the force out of the gas strut just to hold the door up. So it's going to have to be incredibly strong. So it's a case of trying to find a happy balance in between having the pivot point far enough away from the hinge line uh, that it can support the door easily and it's uh, safe in, in all regards. And balancing that um, with not having it too far from the hinge line that you need a very long stroke on the gas strut. So where does that leave us? Well, let's have a look at the length of the struts that I've chosen. Um, so going from pivot point to pivot point, we're looking at 18 and a half inches or uh, what's that? Um, 47 centimeters approximately. And the, the closed stroke length, uh, bearing in mind that we've got to add the length of the little fitting at the end there, it's gonna be probably just a smidgen under 11 inches. So I hope that gives some guidance with the gas struts that I've used. Now, one thing I would do with this one, I did make a mistake. This point here is out by 10 millimeters, one centimeter or about three eighths of an inch. It should be a little bit closer to the hinge line and I, <laughs> this demonstrates the problem. I, you watch what happens as I close it. I've actually managed to adjust it enough. So see this distance in here, keep an eye on that and you'll see the problem. There is no gap in there at all. It's not binding, um, so it does work just. Now, one more thing that is quite nice to, to have is you can see um, that this pivot point up here when the door is closed sits out from the door frame. Now, that does two things. One is it provides an over-center mechanism. So watch what happens if I just uh, zoom away a wee bit there. 
Okay, so the, the door actually pulls itself closed. Once I get it about an inch and a half open, it pushes itself open. But when it's near the closed position, that over center mechanism keeps it closed against the frame. So I think that's probably quite a handy uh, thing to have. Um, you know, you imagine sitting in your bear hawk trying to close the door and you've got your hands full, uh, something like that. You, you may just want to let go for a minute. It's not gonna fly back up into the open position. So there's a couple of advantages to offsetting the pivot point from the frame to about one inch off the frame. The first is that it does provide an over center mechanism and pulls the door closed in those last couple of inches. The other one is that in the closed position, it makes no difference to the length and stroke of the gas strut. But in the open position, where it matters quite a lot, having that uh, displacement on the pivot point and bring it down by about one inch means that you can get away with a shorter stroke length on the strut, and that's quite important. So there you go. Um, I guess one more thing, where to buy them? Well, you can source them readily at most of the uh, car parts suppliers. Um, we've got a couple of suppliers here in New Zealand that uh, you can buy all different sizes of gas struts. Um, I purchased mine off a guy that specifically regasses and distributes uh, gas struts. Uh, that was quite good. They're a wee bit more expensive, but one of the bonuses getting them through him is he's able to change the uh, gas pressure in the struts. On the rear cargo doors, you, you only need a very, very low pressure. You need more pressure on the uh, on the front gullwing doors, but th the benefit there is that I can take the struts off and take them back to him, and he'll adjust the pressure um, with no charge. So th that's how I would do it. Try and uh, find the, the, the friendly local chap that supplies gas struts and Go and bail them up. They, they come in about uh, 10 mil increments. So there you go.